Welcome to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. I am so glad that you are here today. We are gonna be making a yummy, yummy, cheesy squash casserole. And this can be found in my cookbook and it's on page 18. If you don't have this cookbook, let me tell you a little bit about it. I created this cookbook because I just wanted a cookbook for myself where all of my favorite recipes could be found. I always found myself like at the holidays or whatever, just running around trying to gather it from this cookbook and this cookbook and look it up on the internet. But so I just decided I'm going to make the cookbook that I've always wanted. So that is what this is. And one of the things that I love so much about it is that it lays flat. Let me show you what I mean. It lays flat on your counter. And I love that. You're not having to, I can't tell you how many times I've put my elbow down or put a book there trying to hold a page. So anyway, I just wanted to just tell you a little bit more. I, I've just gotten so many more new followers since this was released in January. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I created it. It's just one of my faves. So this recipe is going to be on page 18. Again, cheesy squash casserole. It's so, so yummy and so good. And so let me tell you what you need. Um, and I'll tell you what I've already done. Okay, so I took one large onion with four tablespoons of butter and I just sauteed this for about five minutes until the onions became translucent, okay? So you just dump this in your bowl. And then you need three cups of cooked squash which really means that you're gonna use three just average size squash. Mine were about this long. Um, you might need a fourth one, but it's three to four of the squash. And then I diced mine, I just boiled it, and I kind of figured that you guys would know like how to boil your squash, okay? Um, and then I drained it really well, so there's not water in here. And so now I'm just gonna add this. And then I have preheated my oven to 350. I should mention that, okay? Now next, what we need is one cup of crushed Ritz crackers. And I'm gonna leave a little bit out so that we can put that on the top of the casserole. So here's one cup, but again, I'm gonna leave a little bit, okay, to put on the top, okay? Next, we need half a cup of sour cream. So here's your sour cream. Okay. And then you're gonna need a half of a teaspoon of salt and a half of a teaspoon of pepper. So here's my salt, here's my pepper, and look, you just mix all this up, okay? And then you need one cup of grated cheddar cheese, all right? So you just put this in. And we're just gonna mix this up. Now, this is perfect for right now because everybody has lots of squash. If you have a garden, this is a great squash casserole. This is actually one of my favorite things to serve um, at Thanksgiving. I love this recipe. Um, so this is a good one. You can kind of keep that in mind. Like, okay, Miss Annie has a really yummy squash casserole in her cookbook. All right, let me grab my casserole dish. So this is my nine by 13 casserole dish. I have actually buttered this just a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna dump this in, okay? All right, I'm just gonna spread this out. Now I probably could have put this in a nine by nine. I think I always double this recipe. And so that's what I was thinking. 
Um, so this would be nice in a nine by nine, maybe a little bit thicker, but look, it's gonna be totally fine in this nine by 13 also. And then what you do is you just take some of those Ritz crackers and you just sprinkle them over the top. And then you're gonna put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. You're just gonna watch it till it gets like nice and bubbly. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. Okay, sweet friends, I am back with this delicious casserole. It, I put it in the oven for 25 minutes, it baked, it looks amazing. I've already kind of scooped a little bit out and I am going to try it. Mm. Goodness, that is so delicious. I think you guys will really, really love it. If you make it, please let me know. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. Um, love you guys so much. Thanks again for joining me. Always remember that you can do hard things and be stronger every day. Take care, everyone. I will see you next time.